the hell here. We got a package stood up on the doorstep today. We're going to go ahead and bust this guy open, uh, see what we got. Uh, got a silver boat on dick. Let's see what we got, guys. I don't know. It's an odd-shaped box. Not really sure what this one is. Kind of wrapped a little different, too. But, uh, go ahead and get off in here. See what we got. Uh-oh. I see a Sima. See a Sima sticker here, guys. Let's see what we got. X8HC, the new altitude hold, the new drone. X8. All right. I'm actually, I'm actually excited about this one, guys. Uh, boy, they sure got it wrapped good, though. All right, let's get this out of the way here for one second. Let's see if we can get out this uh, paper. They wrapped it in. All right. And this, I believe, folks, is. This one is uh, Gear Best, actually, and I'll tell you what happened was I actually ordered the, I believe it was the the Bay Yang Toys uh, X16, and it just took so long, they never got it in, so I ended up ordering it from Litake instead, and it's been shipped, it's on the way, and I switched my order from that, which is still out of stock, I believe, to this, and, and a matter of fact, they owe me a little refund, so <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to see if I can get my little refund because this is a little less money uh, with shipping than the X16. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got on the box here. Uh, six axis gyroscope, uh, headless mode, flashing LED lights, 20, uh, 2.4 frequency, hover function. All right, guys, HD camera. <laughs> Not really sure how HD this one is, because this is the C model. This is the one that comes with the little bulb-looking camera. But maybe they improved this, because I'll tell you what. The camera on the X5HC looked exactly like the one on the SC model, but I'll tell you what. It don't take video like the SC model. Uh, matter of fact, check out my epic footage video with the X5HC. Uh got a pretty cool little video with that one and maybe this one takes better video as well we shall see guys uh, it's basically the same thing on the back let's see what it says here uh, same stuff uh, same stuff as all the prior ones just the hover function is basically what they're saying and this uh, the stick on this one guys is spring loaded actually goes back to the middle and that's about the only difference so far I see. I like the color on this thing. This one actually is a pretty cool color. Kind of got a little tired of the black one that I had. And the orange, eh. Wasn't a big fan of the orange one. They also had a white one too, but never did get that one. Uh, anyway. Alright. Go ahead and lay this down because there's stuff falling out of here. This looks like an adapter. Uh, the... USA adapter for a charger which just fell out so we're gonna go ahead and put that over here go ahead and slide this out Let's see if we got anything else in this spot yes we do we have a manual and that's it so we're gonna get this box out of the way guys got the quadcopter upside down right here and this is an odd color I thought this was white or an off-white this is almost like a gold color huh interesting I don't know if you can see it in the camera but all right, so go ahead and start here with the charger. This is just like the one that came with the prior X8. You know, it's a good little charger. If you don't have anything else, you know, this is not this is not bad. That's a little different. The camera came wrapped in plastic. I don't remember the prior one being that way, but I don't know. Maybe it was. All right, so let's see here, guys. This, uh, wow, it has like a little rubber insert, though, which is a little different. I don't think the other one had had this same little top piece here. Matter of fact, I know it didn't. Anyway, I was going to show you the prior camera, but uh, at, at this exact moment in time, I can't seem to find it. But this does look a little, little bit different, guys. A little bit different. The shape looks a little different, and this has the little the rubber mount, which I think came with the previous model, the Wi-Fi version one, I think, if I remember correctly. I think this one, though, it doesn't move, though. Yeah, I think that was a problem. 
I think the old one, though, you can adjust, and this one doesn't adjust. It's just kind of locked in there. So uh, look forward to an upcoming uh, <laughs> video so we can adjust this thing up some. So when you're flying, you're not staring at, at the ground because that's what it's pointing down towards the ground. So we will have an upcoming uh, modification video of this camera right here, guys. So let's see here. Make sure we got A's and B's here. Let's see what we got on prop blast. I see uh, these are these are all B's on one side. So go ahead and pull them all out, though. These so you, so you got B ones and B twos, which I'm not really sure if that matters, but huh? A B's a B, you would think. Anyway, uh, all right. Go ahead and get this off, and the A's hopefully are on this side. landing gears and okay so and these are the A's okay good so we got a set of props which don't come on the quadcopter unfortunately this is the packaging that you have to put your own props on which I'm not a big fan of I wish they had they had the big package with you, you know these are already installed uh, but it is what it is so here's the landing gear go ahead and pull that out basically just like the previous model X8, which is up there hanging on the wall. Matter of fact, we're going to pull it down just for just to show it. Go ahead and show it real quick. Now, the battery is the same plug. It's that banana uh, type plug. Uh, same battery, uh, 2000 milliamps, 7.4, two cell. Same battery. All right. Same controller. Uh, takes four double A's. Has a space for two more, but it is filled in with foam so okay this is spring loaded now it was about the only difference I see from the previous X8 controller alright guys this is not spring loaded that is only difference alright there's one more question and then we'll get back to the unboxing which everybody is patiently waiting on uh, I tried to bind my X5 HC model to the previous X8 controller and that didn't turn out too good it didn't really work right and I'll tell you what it seemed to cause like some kind of problem where it went into LBC prematurely so this is the question though now that we have an X8 controller that's spring loaded and made for altitude hold I wonder if this can now be used with my X5 and I can get rid of this little tiny controller and use this one for my new X5 model as well as the new X8 model so we shall find that out guys here is your normal screwdriver that comes with the X8 models and here's your four silver caps that go over top alright uh, let's see if this is the screws okay the pins are in here okay I see them the quadcopter okay here it is here is the this must be the uh, adapter for the charger. Go ahead and pull it out. Yes, it is. This is the European end, but they do give you the U.S. adapter end here, I believe. Go something like that. Yeah, like that. So, okay. So they do give you that at least, which is pretty nice of them. All right. Got your prop guards, which I'm not going to use. I'm not a big fan of prop guards, but they're there. Get four, there is four of them. Uh, and we have a, a fortune cookie. I mean, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, reminder, during aircraft starting, flying about one minute, normal aircraft, slow rise, fall occasionally as temperature changes, causes pressure imbalance. When aircraft flies up and down due to transverse under the hover function. <laughs> wow. That was the worst translation I've ever seen in my entire life. Matter of fact, this almost makes more sense. All right. Uh, anyway. Okay, so we can get rid of this, too, because there's nothing else in here. All right. All right, here's the quadcopter, guys. Uh, wow, the lights. No, I guess the lights were clear on the previous model as well. Okay, I was going to say, wow, they look like they're all the same color. But I guess when you turn it on, though, they're not. Matter of fact, we are going to turn it on just to see. See what the colors, the lights look like. And we're going to flip it over real quick just to show you the color of the quadcopter, which is really nice. 
Oh, okay. I see now, guys. Okay. I'm sorry. They give you four extra pins and four extra little locking things. They actually do give you, they come with the pins and the little locking things already on here. And they give you some extra ones, four extra ones. Okay, good deal. Okay. I like the new design in the middle as well. Where you can see where the Sima right here, it just says Sima. That's kind of a cool little design right there. Yeah. Kind of like that. Looks neat. I like the color of it. We'll see how the altitude hold works and how the new camera looks. That's probably the, the main two things that are going to be uh, either a big seller or not. Go ahead and plug this in. See what the battery says. And we're also going to check the battery voltage too. I want to see what the lights look like though. It's the same as always. Yep, green and red. Alright, we're going to go ahead and see what this battery came in from the factory at and it is I know this probably looks crazy in the video but it's eight okay three point eight one three point eight two perfect wow well it's Simon didn't wow seven point six four total three point eight and three point eight per cell wow that's a perfect storage level guys you know that's the difference though between Sima even though they're a toy grade company they're a little bit better there, you know, they take the time to really put this on a good storage charge, you know. Because I'll be honest with you, a lot of these new toy grades that are coming out, man, these batteries are coming almost fully charged, guys, from the factory. You know, sitting in the box somewhere, fully charged, too, and that's so bad for a LiPo. This is basically the same book as the previous model. Uh, the only difference is, you know, like I said, it's got the altitude hold, but... uh same book though guys same book same stuff they go over the same stuff in all these books uh, it does show how to install the props which is nice that's always a nice thing because uh, it is a little confusing and I wish this was the one that actually came with the uh, props already installed okay, I'm trying to hold the camera one hand and flip through this book for you guys so if it keeps moving around that's why uh, like I said, we'll have an upcoming flight feature, though, explaining how to uh, calibrate everything. Got a parts list, exploited view. All right. And that's about it, guys. All right, these props are not exactly the same, either. They're a little thinner. From here to here, these are a little bit thinner. All right. So, what are we in? We're in inches here. Anyway, it says... One inch point two two zero. All right. Now we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you on the old props. One point two seventy five. A little bit narrower. It might even have a little more pitch. Cause I tell you what, I just flew this for one second out front, and this one's way faster, guys. This has way more pitch and way more roll than the old X eight. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. The altitude, it doesn't have a problem with the altitude. You know some quadcopters, when they go up with the altitude hold, you can't get them back down. Well, this comes down just as fast as the old X8. So. These props, the old ones on the prior 8 uh, model, just say A. And this just says A. Where this says A1, A1, I don't know if you can see in the camera. The new ones say A1 and A2, and they say B1 and B2. These just say A and B, okay? So, I also want to show you uh, where the props go, just to be easier for you guys, alright? So, the stripes are the front, okay? So, this is an A, then straight across this way is an A. This is a B, and then straight across this way is a B. Alright guys, something else I want to mention too. When you first get these quadcopters, guys, don't just take them out and fly them. What you really want to do is... You want to go ahead, and since this has an idle up feature, it's very easy. And this works much better than the Sima X5. I'll show you why. You take these two sticks and you go in the middle here, and it instantly cuts off, guys. And then you put them in the middle, and it instantly comes on. A little better than the X5 version. And anyway, back to what I'm saying is, let it spin about that speed right there for about five minutes, guys. Just let it spin like that for five minutes, and what that does is that breaks in your breast motors, and I promise you, your your 
your uh, quadcopter and your motors will last way longer, guys, if you take the time to break it in first. Don't just take it out front and fly it. Anyway, guys, that was the unboxing video, and uh, please stay tuned for upcoming flight footage and video, and we're going to see how well the altitude on this thing holds, because, uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of Sima and uh, DJ Soulforce. Man, I beat you to the punch, man. I got one before you. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Anyway, uh, please stay tuned and peace out.